Hey YouTube, so I needed a protective style wear for the rest of the week, something to get me through, um, you know, I have to work, I have to cook for the holidays, and don't want to fuss with my hair too much. So, um, I got, I would say the, I got this, this hairdo mainly from Mahogany Nuts. So, she did one called Flower Bunches, and this is very similar, um, she did a very small cornrows, and very, you know, and very small braids, but, you know, I just did it with twists, a lot thicker, and, um, thicker twist all over but I still it's still kind of the same sort of shape so if you want to see how I got this stick around I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just dampen my hair a little bit I don't want to soak in wet or anything because I can't twist or braid if my hair is too wet and I'm thinking I'm probably I don't know if I'm gonna twist or braid yet I haven't decided but I know that whichever one it is it's hard to do it with slippery hair I'm going to section off everything that I need. Well, I got uh, bands here. Um, I got clips handy. And I also have the smaller clips for individual twists. And I even got my big ones. So, you know, make sure you have stuff handy to hold your hair out of the way. Alright, so first thing first, I'm just going to take... Um, the comb and section off the part that's going to be two strand twist. And I think I want my hair to come over this way a little bit, so. Maybe to about my ear, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna take all that, put it in a band, just hold it out the way. For now. All right, and the rest of this, I'm gonna braid or twist kind of this way. And then this side over here, um, kind of upward. So I want to kind of braid or twist everything up towards this. Okay. So I may just move my mirror because the light is really messing with it. And you can do this thicker or smaller, it just depends on what you're looking for. I think I'm going to go for thicker, only because I hate taking stuff down later on. Alright, put a little, I'm going to put a little moisturizer on there. Okay.
want to put a little gel at the bottom of this one because this is um, starts way back at the nape, so just a little bit. I'm gonna turn around so you can see how I break, how I twist upward. As if most of y'all don't already know how. So just take your hands this way. Yes, baby. Um, okay. No, I'm not. Right. And then just finish your twist off. Yeah, tell him to come here. Okay. All right. That'll work. All right, so now I'm going to take all this, just take this down. and do some just like regular old two strand twists. I like to use my Garnier for teeth before I twist because it helps to kind of moisturize and smooth at the same time. Pretty much need is my comb and my elastic QP. So all right so you don't need to part or twist or anything. I I am gonna just grab some sections at a time, you know, to get them out so I can pull the rest up out of the way while I'm doing this. And my hair will stand up there, it's just a matter of it creates a shadow when I'm doing it. So, you know, make sure these are combed out. Message received. So just pinch some. Put on your elastic QP. And this part I'll probably like, you know, switch to a twist out later on this week. You know, and if you need to, pin, you know, if you need to do another clip and move that, but I'm gonna make my twist. I twist back as I twist. Um I don't even really like notice that I do it because I do it so often. Somebody thought it like it'll take extra time, but I don't think it really does. Cause all I do is like put my finger through and I roll like that as I twist. Okay, so I'm on the last row of twist, um, and these I'm gonna just slightly flat twist back just a little bit, and then you know finish out the single twist, and that's just because I want them to go like that just a little bit. Okay, and it'll be just the ones on this side. These, you know, I can just let these be straight. So. my twister in. Now I'm going to get my hair all pinned up, um, pinned up and out the way for the night. So 
I'm gonna, I think I'm going to twist these around. Um, I'm just taking these twists and making them into a big flat twist so that I can have them pent up. Like a, like a big two strand flat twist. And keep your flat twist out of the way. So I'm going to get to the end, I'm going to twist it back on itself just to get it secured with the bobby pin. I kind of did like a bantu knot, I guess, at the end of it. And get a bobby pin in there to hold it. these down. I guess I could take these out now. I mean, of course, you could just wear your hair down, but I'm not going to. Um, the rest of this you want to probably do with hair pins instead of bobby pins. So, um, what I'm doing is, I don't know if I want to make them into rosettes or, or what. When I say rosettes, I mean Pen curls. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. There's probably some places that I can fill in, you know, a little bit better um, as far as the twirls go. You know, fill them in so I don't have as much space. But I'm going to bed tonight, so I'm tying my hair up. Uh, so when I get up in the morning, I'll, you know, move stuff around, maybe even gel that down a little bit. And, you know, maybe even put accessories in there if I need them. So good morning, YouTube. So I pinned it down for the night. Um. I still have my rosettes. It looks still looks good. Um, I'm just gonna unflatten them just a little bit. Um, I think I might actually put like a a barrette. Let's see how these look. You know, at work, of course. I mean, I could see my hair pins under this light, but I don't think I'll be able to see them at work. But so far, I like the way it came out. Here's the other side. And the back. And the top. You can probably accessorize it just about any way um, that you can think of. And, uh, of course, you know, put on some earrings, whatever it is. So, uh, thanks for watching.